Hello, good afternoon. I'm Thomas Dicellier from the National Research Council of Canada. And I just wanted to show you something really cool that we're doing here in Canada. So bear with me and we'll go and see. So the National Res Research Council, what is that? It's a federal lab, so our role is to actually right. develop technology right. building blocks and help companies connect with the market. And for example, today we're representing nine companies here in the Canadian Pavilion, and we're showing a demo live of uh, kind of a hockey play and how these wearable technologies actually really work in real life. So, so what does Canada do with printable electronics? We have a strong expertise in material. We're also doing various printing techniques, Here's an award-winning material uh, from Raymond Nano Integris. Just won the award, the best material at the show, right? So a few moments ago. So, and that's a carbon nanotube material that enables to print directly transistors with very high performance. So, how does it work? Um, well, first of all, we grow the nanotubes using a plasma torch process, and then what we do is we've engineered a polymer. The NRC has done most of the work, but still, the, the polymer wraps around the tube like that, and we'll selectively extract the nanotubes that we want for our transistors, which is the semiconducting kind, because there's some nanotubes that are not good for transistors. So once the polymer has done its job, you can really extract it, purify, and then print it using either inkjet, aerosol deposition, or maybe even gravure. And then you can make transistors, I mean, this is a close-up image, of, but that's what they look like. And this is what our inks look like. So it's, a, for the first time, a truly scalable way of to making those nanotubes. How soon is, uh, is this mass-produced? It's mass-produced today. It is? Yep. And where does it go? Oh, it goes to our clients. I can't tell you, unfortunately, who they are, but they're very excited so far about the prospects for biosensing, gas sensing, display drivers, and maybe even memory and logic, but that's going to be a few years in the making. So what else do you show here? Yeah, and flexible electronics can also be used as integrated into garment. And here we show an example from home signal in Montreal. Yeah, go ahead. Hey. Hi there. How are you? Uh, so who are you? Pascal from home signal. Um, we're doing smart shirts. Smart shirts being the uh, possibility to record your physiology through uh, your wearable. So what's so, going on there? So basically what you have is the shirt is recording all sorts of things, art and breathing, it goes through this module and through Bluetooth to your app. So this is my iPod, so you can see uh, this is the, uh, the iPod, the uh, Apple device that records, that, that gets transmitted by BLE to the, uh, from, from the box to, it, to the cloud afterward. So Mont Signal. Right? Home uh, signal, yeah. What do you do before? Is this uh, first product? Myself, so Home Signal is their first product. We're a very young company, uh, about three years old. I've been there for two years and a couple of months. Um, is this I'm for the, sale already or how soon is it going to be for so sale? It has been for pre-sale since May. Uh, not Kickstarter, on our own website. And it's going to be shipped on Monday. Monday so right for now, how much? Monday, oh, for... Uh, 200, 250, depending on which one you take, because we have different styles. This one has no sleeve, we have short sleeves, long sleeves, white shirt. So, so what's the idea? Every uh, Everybody doing sports will wear this, or what? Everybody will wear this at some yeah? point. Everybody. So right now we're focusing on workout exercises, um, but we really want to go on lifestyle and see what happens in the long term. So for a short demonstration on how your body reacts to very basic things, I'm going to go Perhaps the skipping rope first? Oh, the skipping rope, yeah. Skipping okay. and then we'll do a bit of... Okay. Let me remind you, I'm a scientist, so... Don't follow, huh? rope is not my strength. If you fall, I get more views. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if they're happy. Yeah, yeah, come, keep going, keep going. Harder, harder. Yes, yes. Harder. Get up to 130. <laughs> All right. This is the reason for 26 hours, 26 years of education. Right. <laughs> okay. No, we're gonna All be right. kind of playing a, a bit of a thing. Yeah. So that's also. So this is about focus and steady movements. So, so Canada can uh, play uh, ice hockey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Quite a lot. Really? Oh, it doesn't go in. Ah. Okay, 
wouldn't jump. You're too good, way. eh? Give me a chance, give me a chance. So when you were doing all this, we see uh, the heart rate going on. Heart rate, respiration rate. Is there any chance that you... Yes! No, 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 that was... Okay, is there any chance that uh, there could be more than these two things? Oh yeah, of course. So the one you don't see right now is activity. Uh, so intensity, impact, all sorts of things, plus gyroscope. So these are our three first entry points, or three first sensors. But our philosophy is having textile, clothing, all, having all these sensors all together embedded in them. Not added, but just as part of them. So it's going to be inside the H&Ms and the Ross or whatever they call all the other ones, right? Yeah. Inside the clothes. Exactly. By like default. this one, what we have is really textile. Everything is textile based. Uh, the electrodes are embedded. So the, the way we record art is really inside the shirt. And it's flexible. Of course, it's washing machine. It goes washing, in machine? washing machine. Oh yeah. Recyclable. Well, that's another Good question. Topic. I mean, we'll see that later. Is textile? Is textile recyclable? I mean, I polyester, know. cotton. I don't know. Well, it goes to the same place. Sorry, I asked that. Yeah. <laughs> no cool. problem. So, Thank you very much. That's very nice. And uh, so many things that. happening in Canada. A lot of things happening in Canada, from material to devices to. Um, the new end applications enabled by the flexible and wearable technology. So we're very excited about the opportunity. And it's happening in Montreal and uh, where? Uh, actually, across the country, from indeed the east to the west, we have companies that are active in lighting, flexible lighting in Vancouver. Companies working in wearables in, in Ottawa. A lot of companies uh, in, in human machine interface. Again, coast to coast in Montreal, in Toronto, and all that. And the government is providing support to all these guys doing innovation. We are providing hands-on uh, R&D assistance, developing technology building blocks that enable to really bridge the gap from academic research to real commercially focused uh, research. 